Ready, go! Alright guys, here at the richest place of the first group up since USA. You feeling good or you feeling bad? I think... I have put in too much work too against, much work. against Lachlan last week. <laughs> I feel and sore right my now. My elbow is like. Oh. I'm, I am with you. As you guys know on YouTube, I gripped up with Lachlan just well, Sunday. Sunday. Two days, ago. two days ago. And I'll admit, coming here, I'm like, damn, I should have taken ibuprofen. <laughs> my elbow and shoulder and everything. This is the right place. I have a good spot. Oh, yeah. I think I'm gonna, I should be called on it. I'll tell you what. Um, Lachlan is feeling strong, but that's no surprise. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> What's your weight? 83. 83. That's usual. <laughs> Just in range of the WAL call, hey? Yeah. That's at night, full. <laughs> my hand feels like you. You're just going to roll me so easy. <laughs> <laughs> I can feel my hands. <laughs> uh, you out of straps is such a problem for me. Ah, that's a whole thing. Oh, oh, crunch, crunch, crunch. Can you do that? All right. Right. Can you give me some of that over here? <laughs> I'll be back. <laughs> Thank you. Have you already taken yours? Throw them in my mouth. <laughs> I'm like, I'm counting how many you've got here. I'm like, oh, there's enough for two of us on this bucket. <laughs> Thank you. She is the other person. So skinny, skinny guys been going good. I'm pretty skinny. My first video is at like 60,000 views now and can steady, steady. Cool. Oh, it feels better with chalk. Oh, I can do some, get some purchase. Can I, can I keep that wrist though? Jeez, that's so scary. It's a choice for oh. <laughs> You your fucking front action. <laughs> so we're swearing, YouTube. Get in the hook, Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> you don't understand YouTube how difficult it is for me to do anything with this guy out of straps like if my life depended on it and I had to pin you out of straps I think I'd die I think I'd die I can slip he can't pin me if I'm just going for the slip but if I'm holding on oh it's nasty it's nasty I'm gonna blink off grip you how much more do you want? <laughs> I know you're giving me like 30% of your pronation right now. But the deeper I get in, and it's, once the ibuprofen kicks in, I, I feel like I can shoulder commit a little harder. <laughs> two training sessions that have gone out on YouTube, I've been getting drilled repeatedly. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's like, what? I thought I was strong. <laughs> look at look like a child now. Jordan did too. Yes. Drop oh, it up. Oh. There it is. Let it go. This magical item of the strap. This is a saviour for me on you. Save on me against everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know what it is, but you you want you want to bait me to hold on to you outside the shadows. But I, I know it's just so horrible. You'd have to bait so deep for me to be tempted. Yeah, it changes the game. <laughs> it changes the game. Alright, all right, I'm gonna challenge myself. So that was just a uh, me go and pin. I'm gonna see the how many seconds thing. Alright, I'm gonna give, give, give center hold for one second. Ready, go. One. Jeez, <coughs> oh, I can feel it going. Alright, one second achieved. Alright, let's try two seconds. Ready, go. One, two. <laughs> now we're in a, a dance. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Alright, two seconds is the limit. <laughs> I gotta go.
Uh, you're the only, you're the only puller. And this is uh, for you, YouTube. Jordan is the only puller that I experience gripping with where it becomes worse over time. Uh, everyone else, with the exception of guys that are just flat out too strong, of course. Everyone else who's in my range, and I think I'm stronger than you, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> Give me some. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to have, I don't want to, actually, funny story, I said to Jordan when Jordan was on the way up in arm wrestling, I said he'll never beat me until he's 10 kilos heavier than me. Well, I'm currently 10 kilos heavier than him, and I, and if you were 10 kilos heavier than me, I wouldn't be even in the conversation. <laughs> It'd be horrible, it'd be literally my worst nightmare. Just keep you separated from your arm a bit. Let's fucking reach up. He can't. Is that a fear? I think it was. I think it was. I think it was. I was if it wasn't, I was about to kick his I was going there. You've been getting a little bit of. Uh... Things on the dirty old kings. Well, I haven't. I've just, I've just been. There's a few people I've gripped lately where it's just an option, and yeah. I. It's never an early option. I will fight to win the match here, but I can just feel like rather than being pinned, I can just do that, and it stops. <laughs> I'm like, the funny thing is, it's embarrassing doing it. Like I was doing it. My last video with training with Lachlan, you didn't see it, but. The next progression we had of training, I was getting genuine King's move stops. And I was like, I'm so embarrassed by this. My arm is genuinely straight. I'm like, what the hell? It's kind of embarrassing, but anyway. If I have to pull it out to beat Justin Bishop, I will. <laughs> <laughs> Not that I have a match with Justin Bishop, YouTube. But I, you know I want one. See if I can get it out on Jordan. Jordan's too bloody technical. <laughs> he says it and says no. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's too long. <laughs> you can't get outside. You're just like, I'm coming over here now. Basically touching this corner. You remember I trained crazy George. <laughs> Your King's Move ain't got shit. <laughs> Well, that means he'll be up for two hours. <laughs> oh, crazy. On a standard size pad? Yeah. Oh man. Like, I, I really wanted that extra WAL inch and a half. Oh man. Alright. <laughs> Come back to the low pressure. Oh, I can't pin you anymore. It's gone. I gotta wait for you to make an error. I gotta make you think you can pin me, and you gotta think you can, but the reality's gotta be that you can't. Get down here, bit, Jordan. Oh. <laughs> I went down further. You, the one thing Jordan is a master at, people, is he has really nailed the art of of not of identifying traps. I'm laying traps, and he's like, no. I'm gonna subtly go the other way and bleed, bleed your hand even more. I feel the like the whole time I need to be holding the peg like that. <laughs> <laughs> the subtle bleed. You have mastered the subtle bleed. Oh. Yeah, so John is in good shape, man. It's like the thing that I felt about John. Do you press record? Yeah, it's recording. Um, hi, John. Hi. <laughs> the thing that I felt about John that was the scariest. I told this to Lachlan the other day was was John allowed me to get to this position, out of straps, this position here. Um, I could have cup, I could have pros loaded, and just start like this, and John would stand like this, you'd be like I was, and he would stop me with just this. Just this. And not only would he stop me, he could go like that with, <laughs> and there was no back pressure, there was no pronation, there was no shoulder drive, it was just, and I'm like, Jeez, your hand is strong. And then when he adds some back pressure and pronation, it's, it's just... <laughs>
patient's gonna work on his endurance. His shoulder is his weakness. He's yeah. in and ability to actually lock this and move this way is, is his weakness. But his hand and back pressure is. That's all you need. He's gonna win. That's all you uh, need hand. I, I, I like David Dedekhan <laughs> first round has speed and there's a chance he gets into John's shoulder round one. But realistically, it's a very narrow chance for round one for David and I think that John is gonna absolutely roll in with ease. Yeah. Hang on. I thought one of my cats was in the tree. <laughs> oh my gosh. So what do you think of the chance to man? Nice. Nice fair strut. Yeah. yeah. Just continue that uh, on the uh, yeah. social. <laughs> This is annoying. I, I honestly, uh, people pe people can say whatever they want, but it did suck that um, that was used. I didn't notice. And honestly, I, what I felt would I would have I felt like I was going to win five one had it had been the fair strap, because what I felt was particularly out of straps, his wrist was getting worse and worse. So first round, the slip happened with his knuckles high. S second slip, my knuckles high. Third slip, he's really dumped. Fourth slip, I grabbed him. His wrist was getting tired. And in in a proper strap with his wrist getting tired, I would have been up here like this. Yeah. Even if the buckle was on my hand, I would have been like, no, I got high ground, what are you going to do? And, yeah. and it would have just been 5-1. <laughs> anyway, I'm happy with the win. <laughs> That's it. I mean, I, um, I was watching it after because you did it at like 3 a.m. Yeah. Yeah. freaking Australian time. Yeah. So I woke up and I was at work, so I decided to have my tea break early. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and uh, like 10 minutes into work. <laughs> And then, um, careful. And uh, all I saw quickly skipping through, I was like, he just whipped that trap. And I went, yeah. wait, hang on. And I had to go back. So and you I was spotted like, it. I was like, oh, away. shit. You spotted it straight away. That first round, <clears throat> when I didn't even notice, I had the dodgy old strap and I tried to hook and it just did nothing. And I, I instantly let go. I'm yeah. like, well, there's nothing there. And, and he slammed me and he was celebrating so much that round. It looked like when when the strap went down too, I mm. went, your hand really went down to something. Like, yeah. you like, yeah. <laughs> as much as you tried and it was, to do that. And it was starting way, it started way over there too. It was, yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? Sorry? <laughs> Did you get a chance? No. <laughs> yeah. Alright. This is how Patrick Berg beat you. <sighs> and you, sh you didn't do that. No. You waited thinking, because you were scared of elbow fouls, yeah. weren't you, at the end of the day? Because you were already on one, yeah. and you didn't want it. And so, you could have yet hit like that at any one of those moments, and I that's what would have happened. My elbow but he, he got to stay here, oh and, a, and eventually you, <laughs> you you were just a little too far out of his shoulder, weren't you? Yeah. But yeah, because as soon as I saw that match I'm, in review, I'm like, where's your hit, Jordan? I know you have one right there, and you didn't do it. <laughs> that moment right there. And the angle on his arm, too. Like, when I looked at it, I... He would have come back pretty fast if he... would have done exactly what you just did to me then. Yeah. Realistically. Because... Yeah. That's me, what I'm hoping. Let's replay it. I think I'm as strong as... Surely I'm stronger than Patrick. But he went... Top roll, lost his wrist, squeeze... Ah, there's no way I'm going to sit in front of that. It's scary. Like, if I stay down there, it's... It's connective tissue scary. I've had too many people take me down there to, you, to not be worried about it. The length of your arm is a real problem because it... It forces me to actually flop press. I can't continue to flop hook if yeah. you come to that corner. It's just like, well, well, I have to do this now. Yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna put you in a hook. But if we do get a rematch from WAL, yeah. That that nice dome pad, that oh, yeah. extra. Uh, it's set up for you. It's set up for you. I think you win that for sure in WAL. Oh, please. And odds of it happening, I feel are pretty good. I feel I'm, the vibe oh, I'm getting. Same. If Neil wants to set that in stone, he can tell me when and I'll be there. I'm going to crazy cause the dean of you. Oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> you, you just blocked it technically so well then. You're just like, uh, no. no. The instant I tried to engage that, I got this throb through my brachialis. You were supposed to go back and drag and I was just going to crush your pronation. That's not the smart way to do it. Oh, this guy, I tell you. 
You can't tell him what you're going to do in advance. It really doesn't work. All right, Jordan, I'm going to top roll you. <laughs> okay, I'm going to top roll. I'm not doing anything else. I don't know what I'm going to do. He's blocking all that like, exits at the moment. All right, I know what I'm going to do. Yeah. Oh, why am I here again? No, I don't want that. <laughs> oh, it's terrible. I feel so much lack of. So, pausing here, what I'm experiencing right now is I can force Jordan into a cup, I can't force his pronation down, and what I can feel is that he has a trigger that he can pull anytime. <laughs> with side pressure, and I don't have a trigger. Right now I don't have a trigger. I have a, a brace for impact warning going off in my head. Like it's a, like a bombing, a bombing raid is about to, about to commence. Take, shit, take cover, and it's like, it's scary. Knowing, will my connective tissue hold up to this? And the answer is, it's probably not gonna. Anyway, continue. Continue. So look at that, he went gentle on me, just didn't hit, he, he squeezed instead. Which gave me a chance, but not for long. Alright, so... I don't know. There you have it guys, Jordan the Reacher is in form. I've continued my run of getting back from the USA and getting my ass kicked in training. Oh, but... Anyway, we'll kill the video here and we'll do some more training anyway, we're gonna, but it'll be, super, it'll be super boring, it's gonna be rehab pressure. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. Yes, that's a bit!